Revision of practical geometry. Construction of a line parallel to a given line through a point not on the line. So you have to draw a line parallel to a given line passing through a point which is not lying on the given line. So to understand this, let us take this question. Let L be a line and P be a point not on L. To P draw a line M parallel to L. Now join P to any point Q on L. Choose any other point R on M. To R draw a line parallel to PQ. Let this meet L at X. What shape do the two sets of parallel lines enclose? Before we solve this question, let us do a quick recap. When are the two sets of lines going to be parallel? When one pair of alternate interior angles are equal or one pair of corresponding angles are equal or sum of co-interior angles is 180 degrees. So I am going to use alternate interior angles equal to draw one set of parallel line and corresponding angles equal to draw another set of parallel line. Now let us come back to this question. So it says let L be a line and P be a point not on L. So use your scale and draw a line L. Mark a point P which is not lying on L. Now you have to make a line M passing through P and it should be parallel to L. So how are we going to do it? We are going to make alternate interior angles equal. So to do that you need to make a transversal. So I will make a line passing through P and intersecting L. So this works as a transversal now. So the moment you draw this line, this one angle is formed here. I am going to copy this angle here. So to do that, you need your compasses. So take your compasses, keep the compass needle at this point and make an arc with any convenient radius. With the same radius, keep the compass needle at P and make an arc. Now you keep the compass needle here where this arc intersects this line L. And pencil tip should be on this line, transversal. So like this, you will draw another arc. You got the radius on your compasses. Now you keep the compass needle here and make an arc. So you get the point of intersection. You can join this point of intersection to this point P and extend the line. So you get a line M passing through P and it is parallel to L. Why? Because you have made alternate interior angles equal. You have copied this angle here. So that means these two angles are equal. And what is this? One pair of alternate interior angles are equal. So M is parallel to L. Now it says, <coughs> now join P to any point Q on L. You have to join P to any point Q on L. I have already made one transversal and it is joining this point on L. So I have named this point only as Q. If you want, you can choose any other point on this L. I have marked this only as Q. Choose any other point R on M. Now you have to choose R. Anywhere on this M. I have marked it here. R. Through R, draw a line parallel to PQ. So you have to draw a line passing through R and parallel to PQ. So it is the same thing now. This R is not lying on PQ. It is lying outside. So again the same steps has to be repeated. It should be a line passing through R and it should be parallel to PQ. So now to make a line parallel to PQ passing through R, I am going to use the concept of corresponding angles equal. So this angle is already formed. And I am going to use this line M as a transversal. So I will copy this angle here. Again the steps will be repeated. I will take my compass needle. I keep my compass needle here and make an arc with any convenient radius. Or you can use the same arc by keeping the compass needle here and pencil tip here. So you will get the same radius. So now you got the radius on your compasses. Keep the compass needle here and make an arc. Now keep the compass needle here and keep the pencil tip at this point of intersection. Or you can, <clears throat> so keeping it here and pencil tip here at the point of intersection, you get the radius. Keep the compass needle here and intersect the previous R. Now join this point R with this point of intersection and extend the line. So now you will get this line parallel to PQ. 
because you have made corresponding angles equal. So these two sets of lines are parallel. Now it says let this meet L at S. So this let it meet at S. So what shape do the two sets of parallel line enclose? So one set you have made parallel like this. That means these two lines are parallel PR and QS. Another set you have made it like this. Two lines are parallel. That means PQ is parallel to RS. So here that means what is the shape? This is the quadrilateral having two pairs of opposite sides parallel. So what is the shape called as? This is a parallelogram. So P, Q, S, R is a parallelogram. Let us now see construction of triangles. You can construct a triangle when all the three sides are given, the two sides and the angle included between them are given, when the two angles and the side included between them is given or 190 degrees. One of the legs and the hypotenuse is given. Let us take these construction one by one. Construct a triangle XYZ in which XY is equals to 18 centimeters, YZ equals to 25 centimeters, and XZ is equals to 22 centimeters. So, first you need to draw the rough diagram based on the dimensions given in the question. So, here this is helpful for you how to think to construct a triangle. So here you will first draw the base and then you have to measure 22 centimeters on the compasses, cut an arc and similarly measure 25 centimeters on your compasses and cut an arc. So now let's begin the construction. So you take a scale, draw a line XY of length 18 centimeters, measure 25 centimeters on your compasses, then keep the compass needle at Y and make an arc of 25 centimeters. Now measure 22 centimeters on your compasses. Keep the compass needed here and make an arc of 22 centimeters. Where, wherever these two arcs intersect, that point is called as Z. Now you can join these two points ZF and conjoin ZY. So this is how we do the construction of this triangle XYZ. Construct triangle DEF such that DE equals to 26.5 centimeters, DF equals to 20 centimeters and measure of angle EDF equals to 60 degrees. So first you need to draw the draft diagram based on the measurements given in the question. So now seeing the rough diagram we are going to do the actual construction. Using a scale you need to draw a line DE, uh, line segment DE of length 26.5 centimeters. Then you have to use your compasses to construct 60 degrees. Keep the compass needle here and with any convenient radius make an arc. Then with the same radius keep the compass needle where the arc intersects the line segment DE. Keep the compass needle here and make an arc intersecting the previous arc. So you get this point of intersection. Join this point of intersection with point D and extend the line. Now measure 20 centimeters on your compasses keep the compass needle at d and make an arc of 20 centimeters so now you get this point f join point f to point e so def is your required triangle construct triangle abc given measure of angle a equals to 60 degrees and measure of angle b equals to 30 degrees and ab equals to 23.6 centimeters so here AB is given to as 23.6, measure of angle A is 60 degrees and measure of angle B equals to 30 degrees. So first you need to draw the rough diagram. Seeing the rough diagram, we will do the actual construction. So we will use the scale and draw the line segment AB of length equals to 23.6 centimeters. Now we are going to construct this 60 degrees angle. So with any convenient radius, keeping the compass needle at A, we will make an arc. Then with the same radius, we will keep the compass needle here where this arc intersects the line segment AB. So we will keep the compass needle here and make an arc intersecting the previous arc. So you get this point of intersection. Join this point of intersection with the point A and extend the line. So this is your 60 degrees angle. 
Now we need to make the 30 degrees angle. So we are going to repeat the steps till 60 degrees angle and then we will make the angle bisector of 60 degree. So we will get the 30 degrees angle. So same way with any convenient radius keep the compass needle at B and make an arc. With the same radius keep the compass needle here where the arc intersects the line segment AB and make an arc intersecting the previous arc. So you, this angle is equal to 60 degree. Now you need to measure this uh, a radius on a compasses whose length is more than half of this length. So with that radius you can keep the compass needle one time here and make an arc with the same radius keep the compass needle here and make an arc. So you get the angle bisector. Join this point of intersection with point B and extend the line till it touches the arm of angle 60 degrees. So that point is your point C. So ABC is the required triangle. Construct the right angle triangle PQR where measure of angle Q equals to 90 degree, QR equals to 16 centimeters and PR equals to 20 centimeters. So first we will draw this rough diagram. Now seeing the rough diagram we will do the actual construction. Uh, so uh, we will use a scale and draw a line segment QR of length 16 centimeters. Then we are going to construct this 90 degrees at point U. So we are going to take any convenient radius on our compasses and keep the compass needle here at Q and make an arc. With the same radius, I will keep the compass needle here where the arc intersects the line segment QR and make an arc intersecting the previous arc. So this is your 60 degrees angle. With the same radius, I am going to keep the compass needle here and then make an arc on the first arc this so we get this 120 degrees angle now with the same radius i am going to keep the compass needle here and make an arc above and here again i'll keep the compass needle and make an arc intersecting the previous arc so now i'll join this point of intersection with point q and extend the line so this angle here is 90 degrees now we need to measure 20 centimeters on our compasses and keep the compass needle at R and make an arc of 20 centimeters intersecting the arm of 90 degrees line. So wherever it intersects that point is point P. So you need to join this point P with the point R. So PQR is the required triangle.